morning. Welcome to story time. We're in a brand new month, April, and it's um, this month we have Earth Day. So I thought we would have some stories that kind of go along with Earth Day. And um, let's sing our welcome song to start. We welcome you here. We welcome you here. We welcome everybody. We welcome you here. Are your hands by your side? Sometimes my hands are by my side, then behind my back they hide. Sometimes I wiggle fingers so, shake them fast, shake them slow. Sometimes my hands go clap, clap, clap. Now I rest them in my lap. Now they're quiet, quiet as can be, because it's story time, you see. Well, the title of our book is called The Belonging Tree by Marianne Kokoleffler. Life was fine and dandy in the big oak tree on Forest Lane. Squirrels lived up and squirrels lived down. And in the middle lived the gray squirrel family, Pa, Ma, and little Zeke. Everyone played together, worked together, and ate together. The neighborhood was just the way it should be until summer arrived. And so did a family of birds. There goes the neighborhood, said Paul. Those blue jays are bossy and noisy. And their shrieking song is driving me crazy, said Ma. But I like their singing, said Zeke. Pa and Ma stuffed the walls with moss and oak leaves to block out the noise. Blue jays just don't belong here. And they put a sign, do not disturb. Pitter patter, chitter chatter. Soon autumn arrived and so did a family of chipmunks. Well, there goes the neighborhood, said Paul. Chipmunks steal acorns. And they have lots of crying babies, said Mo. But I love babies, said Zeke. Pa and Ma spent all day hoarding a winter's worth of acorns. They hid them high up in the attic. Chipmunks don't belong here. Stay out. Winter arrived. The birds flew south and the chipmunks burrowed underground. The neighborhood was once again just the way it should be. Oh, quiet, said Pa. Safe, said Ma. Boring, said Zeke. Until spring arrived and so did the blue jays, the chipmunks, and a family of split, crack, splash, beavers, cried Zeke. Don't be so excited. Beavers are the worst neighbors of all, said Pa. They gnaw and chew and destroy everything, said Ma, even oak trees. But they build some amazing structures, said Zeke. Birds, chipmunks, and beavers, I don't think we belong here, said Pa. That night, Pa, Ma, and little Zeke packed up everything they owned and moved to an old maple tree on the other side of the river. The Gray family settled into their new home. Look, Zeke, there are lots of squirrels here, just like you, said Ma. Go up and play. Instead, Zeke looked across the river. He was sad. He heard the blue jays singing and the baby chipmunks crying and the beavers building. Zeke missed his friends. That night, Zeke decided to go and visit the oak tree. Slowly, he made his way, carefully balancing on the branches as he crossed the river. Suddenly, the sky grew dark. Down came the rain and down came the hail. Crash, down came that old maple tree. Help, said Paul. Help, said Zeke. 
Help, said Mom. Just then, two baby jays appeared. They lifted Zeke into the sky and carried him to safety. Down river, the beavers quickly got to work building a dam, rescu rescuing, rescuing Mom and Pa. But at the back of the oak tree, the chipmunks met them with dry leaves and warm acorn soup. Life is now fine and dandy in the big oak tree on Forest Lane. Blue jays live up, chipmunks and beavers live down, and in the middle lives the gray squirrel family, Pa, Ma, and little Zeke. Everyone plays together, works together, and eats together. And the neighborhood is just the way it should be. Everyone is welcome. The end. Good listening, guys. How about if we do a rhyme together? We got a nice big tree here. Here is a tree straight and tall, and here are its branches wide. Oh, what do we have in our tree? Here is a nest of twigs and moss, and three baby birds inside. Can you help me count them? One, two, three. Good job, guys. Well, what's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it windy? Is it rainy? Is it sunny out today? Well, I'm looking out the window at the library, and it looks like it's sunny. And I hope it is at your place, too. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye until next time. Don't forget to check out Morgan on Thursdays and like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.